I'm afraid to bring this up because I don't want it to be distracting for anyone else, but I did get a ring light and that ring light gets reflected in my glasses, but I don't like filming without my glasses because like when I when I do that, you just see like all the discoloration under my eyes and how tired I am. And I think I look better with my glasses, but then you get the reflection of the ring light in my glasses. And for me, filming it's distracting, but like on cloudy days, I need some light. <laughs> today's video. I am really excited for today's video. So I did already kind of do a spring TBR when I did a recent reads slash spring TBR. So this is going to be slightly different slash basically I'm going to talk about some books on my shelf that I have not read that kind of give off spring vibes in one way or another. Some ways it'll be easier to see, some ways it'll be harder to see. Um, so basically these are some books that I'm looking forward to reading in springtime more so after the video I filmed saying of spring TBR, but it's just spring vibes on my shelf, I guess is what I'm getting here. Um, and the other thing to keep in mind is I chose a lot of these books purely based on the fact that they have flowers on the cover, um, or they have nature on the cover. So, I mean, I have other books on my shelf that have that, but I either A, already read them, or B, I didn't, didn't want to talk about them, or they just didn't quite exactly fit the vibe of the video, but it, this is going to be an all over the place video, so just know that too. So first off, I'm going, I'm going to start off with two books that don't really actually have flowers on the cover, but they're giving me massive spring vibes. And the first one is You Had Me at Ola, and this is by Alexis Daria. And I'm super excited to read this one because this is about telenovelas. So, basically, in this book, it follows two different people. The woman who is really famous in the soap opera slash telenovela world, and she just got through a very messy breakup uh, recently, but she is going on this new bilingual telenovela soap opera, um, and she will be working with her co-star, who just got killed off of his old telenovela, and he is just trying to like kind of make it through and make sure he has the job and he's hoping that this will be a stepping stone to America and trying to get on Hollywood's radar um, and so they end up working together on this new telenovela and they have to re have to rehearse obviously and so they start rehearsing in private and rehearsing kind of leads to some kissing maybe because their characters do it but then they start to do it and they're like Ooh. And so they're both kind of hiding things, I think, or there are some things about them that they don't want people to know, but they're also just trying to make it big in the film world. And there's a romance. I'm not very good at explaining contemporary, but I'm really excited. So yeah, this one doesn't have flowers on the cover, but it's got like plants in the background and it's a love romance contemporary. I'm, yeah, basically, that's why it's on here. Moving on, this next book also doesn't have flowers on the cover, but it does have a lot of trees and branches. Yes, this is the How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. This is the little kind of novella that goes along with the Cruel Prince trilogy, or the Folk of the Air trilogy as it's technically called. I read the entire trilogy, and I'm a huge fan of the trilogy, um, so I picked this up semi-recently and I thought it would be a great one to read in spring um, because it's very short, it's very light, it's very bright. Again, a lot of this is going to be like based off the cover rather than the plots, but this is one that I'm hoping to read very soon. So now we're finally getting into the books that have flowers on the cover and I'm starting off with some of the books who don't have as many flowers or they're not quite as obvious so that we can build up to what I have on my shelf as the ultimate spring to be read book for me personally. Um, so we're building our way up to that and this next one as a stepping stone there is Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows and I've been saying, I this has been on so many of my TBRs, especially for readathons, which is, it's a, it's a thicker book, it's not great for readathons. I, I have started it once or twice, but I just haven't gotten through. The flowers are 
of course, on her head as a kind of flower crown type deal. And this is a fantasy, it's the first in the trilogy, where the main character is condemned for defending dragons and there are a bunch of secrets and not quite a war, I think, between her people and dragons, but like they don't like them. And so she needs to escape and she kind of needs to set things right. Um, yeah, I don't know too much more about it, but I know I am excited to read it. And it's, it's, I've had it for a while and I've been wanting to read it for a while, so hopefully this spring, as soon as I finish school, can be my time. But we'll see about that. Alright, then this next one is also a fantasy that doesn't immediately scream spring specifically. But I, I want to read it in spring if I can. If I don't read it in spring, I honestly might wait till next winter. We'll see. Hope, I mean, I, I want to read all of these books here, people. That's the whole point of this video. But I'm talking about Seasons of the Storm, and this is by El Casimano. Casimano. And this has kind of these little flowers all along the circle here. And in this book, basically what happens is that when you die, you have the choice to be the reincarnation of a season. Um, and the seasons change by the next season hunting the previous one and like killing them. So it is very nature based and like seasonal based. Um, so I don't quite know exactly where we start or where it will end, but just by as now being the changing of seasons where it's gotten warmer, but now it's getting colder again. So hopefully it'll start to get warmer and stay warmer. Please, I'm begging. It's kind of the perfect time to read it, is in this changing of seasons. And so this is probably the least springy looking one, but might be the most springy, who knows. The second to last book on this list is With the Fire and High by Elizabeth Acevedo. And this doesn't seem like it has a lot of flowers on it, it seems like it mostly has food. But there's little flowers here, they just might be like edible flowers uh, because this deals a lot with cooking. This is about a girl who is a teen mom and she really wants to go on the trip to Spain with her school but you know that's that's difficult to do as a mother and she wants to pursue her dream of cooking but it's just really hard for her. So again very vague synopsis but I am really excited to read this. I've also been dying to read an Elizabeth Acevedo book. There, there are multiple of them that I want to read, but this is the only one that I own, so hopefully it'll be the first of many that I will be reading, hopefully this spring. Then, finally, the last book on this video, and the most springy spring book that I have to offer for this video, and my spring-themed, or spring vibes, TBR, I don't want to call it a TBR, because I'm so bad at TBRs, spring vibed books that I want to get to is... Girl, Serpent, Thorn. Makes sense, right? I mean, it's a light colored book, lots of flowers in the middle of it. It's not too long of a read, which is nice for spring. Um, but oh my word, it's just such a pretty book. I've been, I just, I will sit here and stare at it and be like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to read you. I'm so excited. So this follows a princess who is poisonous to the touch, I believe. And so she kind of gets locked away, you know, quarantined, hmm, that word sounds familiar now, doesn't it? Um, but she is constantly fighting of whether she is the princess or she's actually a monster. And so her brother's wedding is coming up and she wants to be there to support him but also doesn't want to cause trouble. And so she's deciding, you know, what she's going to do and there's some demon in the basement in the dungeons that she may or may not go to seek answers from to see who she really is and what she's really meant to be. Is she just a cursed monster or a cursed princess? You know, it just, it's, it just looks so pretty. And I think there's a lot of nature references. I'm pretty sure the character likes to garden or has a passion for the environment. Um, but along those lines, um, another reason why I did this video and I really tried to focus on flowers on the cover of these books is because Earth Day is actually coming up. I believe in two weeks, so not this Thursday, but I believe the next Thursday is Earth Day. 
And I was like, you know, we, we need some good environmental reads out there. And I don't have a lot of books on my shelf that feature the environment or nature. Um, and I don't really know of a lot of books that I'd be interested in buying or reading that has to deal with that. So that's kind of why I tried to do like, oh, flowers on the cover because Earth Day is coming up, and so hopefully this gives you guys plenty of time to investigate these books, get your own copy of it, read it, celebrate, and think about how we're interacting with our planet and how we can maybe interact with it better. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably the top of my list of books I want to read this spring once I finished the book I'm currently reading and the book I'm going to read after that. Because um, I'm just so excited and it's so pretty. Oh, anyway. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video, this long spiel that kind of does the superficial side of books, aka their covers, but I tried to tie it in with events happening, well not events happening, but like Earth Day is coming up, I mean, yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, like this video, click the thumbs up button to let me know, otherwise if you have any recommendations of books to read in the spring, either because they have springy vibes or because there are flowers on the cover, please comment them down below, I would love to know. Also let me know if you've read any of these books and if you know anything about them or you have your own opinions, I would love to hear them and chat with you guys down below a little more. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe. I make videos every Thursday and I have a lot of very fun, a little more unique videos planned coming up. So subscribe so that you can hit the bell and get notified every time that I post on Thursdays. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.